Hey guys, while we're here, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make homemade no churn rum raisin ice cream. You're watching the Bear Pantry Show. Say hello to my mother. Hi, everybody. She's not shy, okay? <laughs> I guess Mario Ramirez from Box 11. <laughs> you are on the Bear Pantry Show <laughs> in Utah. Every Sunday, potato salad, stew chicken, rice and beans, and plantains. You're watching the Bear Pantry Show. You're watching the Bear Pantry Show. Yeah. All sales. I love Watching the Bear Pantry Show. Attack! You're watching the Bear Pantry Show with my sister. <laughs> <laughs> this ice cream is called No Churn because you're not going to need an ice cream tub. All you're going to need is a stand mixer or a hand mixer. So let's get right into the ingredients. The no churn ice cream uses just two ingredients, all right? It's this thing, heavy cream, and that, condensed milk. And it's up to you to put what you're gonna put in it to make it your own flavor. So we need two cups of this. And I put this in the freezer about 15 minutes ago and this has been in the freezer about a half hour. The legs to the thing and the metal bowl, okay? I want everything cold and what we're gonna do is blend this for about eight to ten minutes until stiff peaks form. When it gets to look like that, you don't, don't want to go any further because then it's gonna get back like butter. Drop the raisins in because it's rum raisin. Hmm, this cup might be a little bit too much. <laughs> and then I'm going to deal with this. Yes, you have to use the whole can of condensed milk to the two cups of heavy cream. If you only want to use half the can of condensed milk, you're going to have to go with one cup of the heavy cream, okay? It's a science thing, just saying. We put a little bit of the rum, what does it say, imitation, imitation rum flavor. And I'm using this rather than real rum, because honestly, this smells more rum than rum. <laughs> I would say about a teaspoon. And then taste it, smell it, and stuff, and see what you think. And if you need more, put more. Okay? Let me taste. Mmm. You smell it, Josh? Mm-hmm. It's strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One teaspoon is more than enough. If you put more, it's gonna be better. So what you do is take half of this. I'm gonna get a bigger spatula. Put it into the milk, and then you fold. This is my folding spatula. See how it's built kind of funny? Fold. Fold. So this is all incorporated. Friend of the show and sponsor, Ermine, gave me this pot. You guys might remember that I used it to make a pasta dish. A few videos back, it has a lid, so I think it's perfect to use for the ice cream because this thing can go in the oven, I think in the microwave, I don't think I've ever tried it in there though, but the oven, uh, the fridge, and freezer for sure. This amount of ice cream will give you like this size tub, which is like one and a half quarts, all right? So don't look at this because we're not making that, we're making our own ice cream. And look, see, the raisins are well spread out in the thingy. And I know that I'm gonna have too much ice cream for this pot, but I want it in this pot, so I'm gonna force it. <laughs> and then this is gonna have to go in the freezer for at least eight hours. So right now it's 2.30, the day that I'm making it, so I'm not gonna do this till tomorrow, like mid-morning. I'm gonna reveal this. Josh, do you think I can fit it all? No, yeah. uh -huh. you, you can do it. I can do it? You could totally do it. <laughs> no, I want the lid to stay on. I oh, want it yeah. to look pretty when we open it too, so I'm gonna stop and put that in something else. See if I can make it pretty. Oh, 
put the lid on it. And let's get this in the freezer. Okay, now I'm gonna go find a container to put the rest of that, all right? See you tomorrow. Remember that we had leftovers, right? So that's the leftovers. And then you get my little pot. All right, so I can't get my lid off, but this thing says it can go in the freezer, okay? So I don't really want it in this because it was so pretty. So just let me let it sit here for a few minutes and thaw, then I'll take the lid off, and we'll see what our ice cream looks like. So Joe is so smart, he told me to use this little paring knife and just kind of get under the lid to lift it up. So we don't have to have it gone for too long. Hey, thank you, Joe. What would I do without you? <laughs> Let it thaw a little bit. And we're gonna it's get good. that first scoop out. Hmm? Okay. Rum raisin. Let's see. It's coming. But I want to see that smooth when we go across it with this. So just like minute, minute and a half or so. We don't want it to thaw too much. Joe stealing. And if it looks raggedy, it's because he was in the attic. Oh, no. <laughs> you taste the rum? It's like. It's like? In the back of your throat? <laughs> it's rum extract. I like Thank you. I like how it looks. It's pretty. You look like you know what you're doing. I know. June 2017 so summer is fast approaching for us here in Northern America but I do know in other parts of the world like Australia you guys are coming up on winter but don't let that stop you okay if you like I am you probably eat ice cream well into the winter of course this flavor that I chose to do today was rum raisin or rum and raisin but you can just imagine if you use the base the heavy cream and the sweetened condensed milk you can add anything else you need to add to make it your own flavor of ice cream so strawberry peaches sour sop nuts chocolate chip chocolate vanilla bean uh, you can even add like the caramel you know like when we boil the milk to put it on cake you can even add clumps of that in it I think I've done that already for the show too can you imagine if we were to have like a couple pieces of cake with a frosting already on it we broke up the pieces in the ice cream and then we set it and eat it later oh my goodness I think we're gonna have to try that very soon so I want to thank you guys as always for watching the show for liking for sharing for subscribing I want to take this time to welcome all my new subscribers Please go ahead and put a comment so I can know that you're a new subscriber and I can give you a shout out next time. Uh, go ahead and navigate the, uh, the channel and the playlist and stuff. I've been doing this uh, October 23rd coming up will make six years so as you guys can imagine I have a lot of videos here. Don't just find this one video and then sit on it. Go look for the rest and navigate around and have some fun with us okay. I want to thank all my old subscribers for sticking with me this long. You guys are amazing. I know that it's not everyone that is subscribed to the channel that watches but I do have a little base a core that watch and I really and truly appreciate you guys okay now I want to thank my sponsors this year in January after we transitioned out of our old business into a new one you guys have stepped up and you have been donating steadily 
and I really and truly thank you from the bottom of my heart because without your donation, it would be very hard to continue doing the show. I really do appreciate everything that you guys sow with me, okay? It's a seed. You're sowing a seed. And look to God for a harvest, okay? Always sow with expectation. You're not expecting it back from me. You don't even know who you're expecting it back from, but God will use men to give onto your bosom, okay? So always remember that. Anyways, guys, um, thanks so much for sticking around with me. Thumbs up the video, and I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys again next video. Okay, bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. You can check me out on BBN9 in Belize. Find me on social media and check out my other two channels.